That's great to have you along on this Monday night as we're going to dive right into your election day forecast. A warm, windy day, and it will be dry from sun up to sundown. And if you're headed to that polling location, anytime through the mid to late afternoon, we're going to be toward the high of the day, 77 degrees. Even early in the morning, dry conditions, the breeze will already be elevated. Mid 60s, first thing in the morning by noon, mid 70s, it will climb to the mid to upper 70s as we go after work and into the early portion of the evening. Now, any rain on radar tonight? It is just a few stray showers are going to be lifting to the north. A couple of those showers down toward Perrysburg, Maumee, and one stray shower over there toward Hillsdale County. These are all going to be lifting to the north as a warm front continues to push warmer and breezy air into the region. Now, this is early November, and look at the temperature map. Mid-60s, even a few spots in the low 70s down toward Ottawa, Finley, and Tiffin. It is incredibly warm, and it will stay that way overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Still have that warmer southerly wind gusting 20 to 25 miles per hour for most of the areas. That breeze is going to crank right back up as we get into your Tuesday afternoon. Much of the heavier rain to our west that is actually going to drift north of us. So we're going to end up in an area that will have mainly dry weather by tomorrow morning. It's been a very stormy night across eastern Oklahoma, northern Texas and parts of Missouri where they're dealing with flooding and flash flooding and yet more tornadoes in the uh, wake of our weekend that uh, offered multiple tornadoes that were out there across Oklahoma, including a couple EF2 and EF3 tornadoes reported out toward Oklahoma City. Now, quick update on the tropics as well. Just earlier today, we've named Tropical Storm Raphael. This wind has winds to 45 miles per hour, expected to move to the north and intensify into a hurricane, making landfall in Cuba and eventually emerging into the Gulf of Mexico. We'll keep eyes on this as we get late week into the weekend, but at this point it is expected to weaken in the Gulf of Mexico and has no major imminent landfall on the Gulf Coast region. Well, let's look at our hour by hour forecast the rest of the night. Tonight showers going to be isolated, but by tomorrow morning clock 7 a.m. If you headed to that polling location, dry and breezy weather rain chances will stay to the north and to the west through the course of Tuesday afternoon. It will be breezy winds gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour. Rain chances will return into the area by about 9 p.m. So this could be after the polls close, here's the rain coming in from the west. Showers could become likely by midnight Tuesday into early Wednesday. And once that front moves through, dry weather will return. Very warm tonight. Isolated showers, 62 the overnight low. That is warmer than a daytime high this time of the year. Record warmth into tomorrow as we climb through the mid to upper 70s. And beyond that cold front that I highlighted, it will bring rain chances late Tuesday night. We do return back into the low 60s Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. That is still above average with dry conditions into the end of the work week toward the weekend. Dry on Saturday with more rain chances on Sunday and we still stay above average low to mid 60s as we get ready to work into the middle of November.